welcome. This video will help you prepare for completing the PLTW end of course assessments. To take an end of course assessment, you must be registered in a PLTW course, and you must have all of the required fields completed in your MyPLTW account. First name, last name, date of birth, grade, gender, race, and ethnicity are required. These will be used by PLTW to complete a statistical analysis, which is a critical step in mitigating unintended subgroup bias. To take a PLTW end of course assessment, you'll need a testing device, a PC, Mac, Chromebook, or iPad with the Kite Student Portal installed. Check with your teacher if you're unsure of your username and password for the Kite Portal. If you're testing in a group environment, you must use headphones to hear some parts of the test. If you're learning and testing outside of school, you must have a second internet connected device with a camera and microphone attached, which will be used to monitor the testing section. After you've logged in, click the tile to access your test. You must enter the daily access code, which will be provided by your teacher, to activate the test session. To access the on-screen toolbox, click the small carrot along the left side of your screen. You may choose to use a variety of screen tools during your testing session. Tools include a calculator, highlighter, eraser, and more. An engineering formula sheet is available for applicable courses under the library icon. Each item block will have an opening passage and several related questions. At the bottom of the screen, you can select three tabs, passage only, question only, and passage and questions. Adjust your screen by moving the vertical bar in the middle of the passage and questions view to give more space to either the passage or the question. Be sure to use the scroll bar to display all of the on-screen material. You can move through this section by selecting an item number at the top of the screen or by selecting next or back at the bottom right of the screen. You can mark an item for review by clicking on the small flag toggle at the top right of each item. And you can remove a flag by clicking a second time. You can change your answer as often as you want and you may leave an item blank. There are several types of items. Expect to see a variety of drag and drop, matching across columns, multiple choice, both one response and select all that apply, and fill in the blank. If you're not sure how an item response should function, click on the question mark at the top right of the item. An informational box will remind you how to use the specific response mechanism for this item type within Kite. The PLTW end of course assessments are not timed. They're given in two sections. Once you have begun a section, you must complete it in one sitting. If you leave the proctored testing area, except for an emergency like a classroom evacuation, you will not be allowed to restart that section of the assessment. If you must evacuate because of an emergency, your answers will be saved and your test can be restarted. At the end of your test, you'll first see a screen that's to review, showing which questions, if any, are unanswered or flagged for review. You can go back to the previous questions at this point. If you select end at this review screen, you're submitting your responses for scoring. Once responses have been submitted for scoring, you may not go back into the test. As you complete the second section of the test and submit it for scoring, you'll have the chance to share your scores with PLTW University partners and to answer a few questions about your learning and testing experience. Score reports will be available in MyPLTW within 24 hours of completing the second section of your assessment. We hope that you'll find the PLTW end of course assessments interesting and the results valuable. Whether you share your results toward a goal of admission to future educational and training opportunities, or benefit from a better understanding of your personal aptitude and educational growth. If you have any questions about taking a PLTW assessment using the Kite Student Portal, please check with your teacher before starting the testing session. Thank you and congratulations for another successful year of learning.